Hello everybody. In this video I will demonstrate how to enable the integrated Amazon Guard Duty Threat Intelligence with Amazon Route 53 Resolver DNS Firewall to block domains identified as low reputation or that are known or suspected to be malicious. Amazon Guard Duty is a threat detection service that continuously monitors for malicious activity and unauthorized behavior to protect your AWS accounts. Amazon EC2 workloads, container applications, Amazon Aurora databases, and data stored in Amazon Simple Storage Service, S3. Guard Duty achieves this by combining machine learning, anomaly detection, network monitoring, malicious file discovery, and using both AWS and industry-leading third-party sources. Leveraging the integration with Route 53 Resolver DNS Firewall means that you can block domains using the same Guard Duty threat intelligence used to monitor and alert on potential DNS threats for your AWS accounts. Amazon Route 53 Resolver DNS Firewall is a managed security service that allows you to quickly deploy DNS protection across all of your Amazon Virtual Private Clouds VPCs. The Route 53 Resolver DNS Firewall allows you to create customer-defined lists to block queries made for known malicious domains and to allow queries for trusted domains when using Route 53 Resolver for recursive DNS resolution. You can quickly get started with protection against common DNS threats by using AWS Managed Domain Lists, which now includes an Amazon Managed List based on Amazon Guard Duty Threat Intelligence to automatically block DNS requests which would have invoked an alert for investigation for customers using Amazon Guard Duty. Amazon Route 53 Resolver DNS Firewall works together with AWS Firewall Manager so you can build policies based on DNS Firewall rules and then centrally apply those policies across your VPCs and accounts at scale. Time to observe this in action and dive a little deeper by heading over to the AWS console and navigating to the VPC service. For this demo, I have an account with three VPCs, each containing an Amazon EC2 instance, named to illustrate the action of the root 53 DNS resolver firewall rules we will use. This is because root 53 DNS resolver firewall applies the rules to the entire VPC. Now let's head over to the root 53 console and go to DNS firewall domain lists. Here we find the Amazon Managed Domain Lists, which include AWS Managed Domain Malware Domain List, which are domains associated with sending malware, hosting malware, or distributing malware. AWS Managed Domains Botnet Commander Control, domains that are associated with controlling network computers that are infected with spamming malware. AWS Managed Domains Amazon Guard Duty Threat List, which are domains associated with DNS security threats such as malware, command and control, or cryptocurrency related activity sourced from Amazon Guard Duty, and AWS Managed Domain Aggregated Threat List, which is domains associated with multiple DNS threat categories, including malware, ransomware, botnet, spyware, and DNS tunneling to help block multiple types of threats, and includes the AWS Managed Domains Amazon Guard Duty Threat List. Heading over to the rule groups, we can view, create, and manage our root 53 DNS resolver firewall rules. In this example, I have already created a rule to alert. Rules that alert allow the DNS queries to return results to the client and log the rule activation in the root 53 resolver logs, which I'll demonstrate later. This is commonly used when testing rules to verify the impact they will have. I will use the console to create a rule that blocks requests based on the AWS Managed Domains Amazon Guard Duty Threat List, but this can be completed using the AWS CLI or APIs. To start, press Add Rule Group. Enter the rule name and an optional description and press Next. Rule groups can have multiple rules, which can be ordered to enable fine grain control and can be used to create a block list blocking known unwanted or walled garden, only allowing specified strategies with the use of wildcards in your customer managed lists. For this demo, we will just create a single rule. So press add rule. Enter the name and the optional description and select add AWS managed domain list and select the AWS managed domains Amazon guard duty threat list. For the actions, we will select block and we will be prompted for our block response. No data responds indicating that the query was successful, but no responses is available for it. NX domain responds indicating that the query's domain does not exist. And override provides a custom override in res the response, which can be used to redirect traffic for further analysis. In this case, I'll select NX domain and press add rule followed by next. As there is only one rule, I do not need to order these rules. If there were more than one, we can adjust the order to meet our desired strategy. 
DNS Firewall evaluates rules starting with the lowest priority setting, so the rules at the top of the list are for process first, and stop when a match is found. In my case, I'll just press next. Optionally, add tags to help with rule life cycling and to automate our company's policies, and press next, followed by create rule group after reviewing the settings. Now we have the rule group and is listed as not associated. The next step is to associate the rule group to a VPC to enable the rule on the root 53 resolver in that VPC. To do this, we select the rule name. This gives us details about the rule group, such as region. If it is shared with other accounts in the AWS organization through Resource Access Manager, the rules applied and the use capacity. Rule groups can be managed by AWS Firewall Manager and there is an option in the center to associate it with an AWS Firewall Manager policy to manage and enforce the rule group at scale across your organization. In my case, I'll associate it with a single VPC by selecting VPC Associated tab, selecting Associate VPC and selecting my block VPC from the drop down list before pressing Associate. AWS Managed Domain List cannot be downloaded or browsed this restriction helps us prevent malicious users from designing threats that specifically circumvent published lists. However, to test that it is working, AWS provides URLs for each of the managed lists. To find out how this works in action, let's switch over to the terminal session of an EC2 instance in the VPC configured to alert and look at one of those domains. I will use the nslookup command to query the IP address of one of the test URLs. If the rules are not configured to block, this will return the IP address 1234, which is what is returned in this instance. Switching to the Amazon EC2 instance in the VPC with the rules to block and completing the same task returns the NX domain response configured earlier as expected. So we have successfully prevented this Amazon EC2 instance from being able to resolve a flagged domain and stopped access to a potential threat such as malware, commander control and crypto mining. Now I will demonstrate how to monitor DNS resolver logs for queries matching the alert rules. Root 53 DNS Firewall adds details of the rule group and actions to the DNS resolver logs. For the purpose of this demo, I have configured the resolver logs to be delivered to CloudWatch logs. So heading over to CloudWatch log insights in the console, we are able to query them. I will do this by selecting a save query I have and pressing run query. The results include the test queries I have just completed on the Amazon EC2 instances. Using CloudWatch, we can then display these on a dashboard, create metrics and alarms to evoke other actions such as receiving notifications or running a Lambda function. Other options would be to use Amazon Security Lake to automatically centralize the collection, querying and retention of these logs or create rules and use cases in existing SIEM tools that are configured to receive the DNS resolver logs. That's it. In this video, you learned how to enable the Route 53 DNS firewall with the Amazon Manage List for Guard Duty to alert on or block DNS requests and network connections to known or potentially malicious domains based on Guard Duty integrated threat intelligence. For more details of any of the services mentioned today, check out the links on the screen.